<laughs> the things you'll do to get your $80 chatterbait back. Good evening, fish and friends. Welcome to another episode. I am out this evening to try and find some fish. Got a few different things tied on. It has been tough. Of course, last night it stormed. Looks like the water is pretty muddy and dirty, but that's what I've been faced with front after front. It was in the 90s again, we reached 90. Hopefully we can catch some fish, got a few things rigged up, gonna try a few different things. Might get interesting. But enough yapping, I only got about an hour and a half tonight, so let's get fishing. All right, well the water's pretty gross looking here. I think I'm gonna start with the spinner bait today. Let's see if we can get anything on that. Throwing that on the new Concept A that I got from the good old Gander Outdoors going out of business sale. Got that baby for 70 bucks, so I couldn't pass up that deal. I'm definitely liking it so far. Cast pretty smooth, reel's pretty smooth. I've seen a few ripples, look like there might be some fish moving around, but. Oh, if it being a little bit more calm, we might want to get away from the spinner bait. It's pretty big, loud, crazy, flashy blades. I also brought. All right, I'm gonna try throwing the Zacco on here. That's the Yamamoto Zacco. Gonna try using that on the trailer of this chatterbait. It's a chatterbait that a lot of you have wanted to see me try. It is the Z-Man Jackhammer. Now, I only got these because they were basically 50% off at my local Gander. So I got a deal and they were still kind of expensive even at 50% off, but. All right, there we go. Here it is, the famous Z-Man chatterbait. Let's see if that little smaller black profile with a little vibration does better here for us yes this is another new combo as well this is that 13 fishing inception sz got this thing for 80 something bucks at the gander sale so i figured you know what why not i've been wanting to pick up a 13 reel to try out so i grabbed a couple of them there we go there we go, decent fish. Feels like a decent one there. Well, hate to say it, but that is the Z-Man jackhammer. Boy, that was way far out on that cast. This thing will definitely kick it out there. Not a big dude, but that's a decent start. That's actually pretty chunky fish. Oh, if I ever fished MLF, I would definitely have quite a few penalties. Actually, that's a pretty darn good fish to start the day off with. Easily a pound and a half fish. Got a decent little gut on him. Okay, there we go. First dude of the night on the Z-Man jackhammer. He's out. Maybe there is something to this. This old jackhammer that everybody's talking about. That's a look at what we're fishing there. I think they call that the bruised green pumpkin, something like that. It's kind of like a black and blue on top and a green pumpkin with blue flake on the bottom. Half ounce with that green pumpkin Zacco trailer. Fishing that on some 12 pound P-Line CXX. This is of course that Dobbins Fury rod that you're used to seeing, Dobbins Fury 733. And of course the reel, you can't, can't miss that thing, the Inception SZ. All right, one thing I do notice about this chatterbait that a lot of people have said is one of the big reasons they like it is it does immediately start vibrating. As soon as you start reeling it, that baby is going. Now is that worth the, whatever it is, $18? I don't know. For some bank angler like me here in Iowa, I don't know that I can say that I'm gonna be changing all my chatterbaits out to these, but it does feel good. Stop, and as soon as you start reeling, it starts going again, so it's a good sign. There's one, number two on the night, okay. All right, come on. Mr. Chatterbait getting us some bites here. That's what we like to see. Oh, yeah, that's another good one. That's another solid fish. Good little fish, yes. All right, there we go. Second fish of the night. Again, definitely eating. You can see that starting to fatten up. Man, that thing was gone in there. There we go. All right, second one of the night. Again, over a pound and a half fish. Both of them up toward that two pound mark. All right, all right, there we go. The old jackhammer getting us a couple here. Oh, what's going on with my rod? I know a lot of folks ask what color to use in a real dirty water like this. That's why black is such a good choice because it makes a good outline for those fish to see. It's not, you know, a crazy color or trying to match the hatch of something black. It's that it gives those fish a silhouette, a shadowy, you know, target to see in that dirty, muddy water. Pretty quiet caster. This uh, has some of those 
bushings in there, you know, the Concept Z zero, zero bearing thing that they talk about, those are actually bushings in there instead of bearings. Oh, he hit it twice, right there. Little dude. Smacked it once, I thought I was coming over a branch or something, he come back for it. That vibration, ow, that's a hook in my thumb. Duh. There we go, again. That jackhammer, well, it's tough because little guy of the day there, he wouldn't even go a pound, but it's tough to say if it's just that it's the vibration of the chatterbait or if I were throwing, you know, a regular chatterbait right now, would I be getting all these same bites and fish? That's interesting. I didn't bring any other chatterbaits. I've only got this one tied on. So it looks like this is probably going to be a night of just fishing the jackhammer. There we go. Decided to make a cast over there before I left. Glad I did. Feels like another decent little fish. Not a tank, but feels like another, another good little fish to fight. Oh yeah, it's another good fish. Easy a fish. Heck yeah, another chunky little pound and a halfer. Gonna be a night of pound and a halfers, but that does not matter to me. If this were MLF, I'd be racking up that score tracker. Sorry guys, score tracker update. Debo caught another pound and a halfer. It's a lively one. All right, there we go. Another solid little fish. I'll take a bunch of those. Man, he's unhappy. All right, let's make a move. One thing I absolutely love about this reel they put a little hook keeper deal there. I am notorious for doing that, even on the reels that don't have it. I'm a big fan of that. Kind of tight quarters here. Have to watch out. There's flipping poison ivy everywhere here. The things I'll do to catch some fish for all you fishing friends. Oh, thought that was a bite. Something grab it. Yep. Grabbed it and came back for it. Feels like another decent little fish. Oh, nope, he's a small dude. No, he's a pounder. Let's try to not set that in, poison ivy. There we go, another guy on the night. Not a big dude, but that's the jackhammer getting bites. Look at that. Starting to get little bellies on him. He's been eating well. Little pound fish there. Bit at once, came back for it. I thought it was a stick. All right, at least that vibration's giving him something to key in on, giving him a target. That is, there's a daggum beaver over there. Stay away from me, beaver. Daggum beaver over there too. Looks like there's a big, huge carp down yonder as well. Oh, oh, was that a bite, was that a bite? Yep, came back for it again. Another one did the exact same thing. Feels like a decent fish again. A little bit bigger than the last one, I think. Pulling like he's trying to be anyway. Might just be feisty. Yeah, it's another solid little fish. Yes, sir. Look at that one. Definitely eating. They are starting to get bellies on them. It's that time of year. This is the first place that I've had a consistent bite, which is kind of crazy because last night and the night before we had a whole bunch of storms. Boy, that hook was stuck in there. Yeah, he's definitely eating. They are pale in this dirty water. Thanks for being on the fishing show. Later, fish. So let's see, maybe there's a few of them. On that spot, hanging out. I don't know if maybe there's some brush there. It feels like I hit brush the first time. Both of those fish have hit it first and come right back for it. There's another one. There must be a little hole or something there of them. Heck yes back-to-back -back casts yes we will take that we will take that get over here oh. <laughs> well, I was waiting for that to happen oh my gosh how crazy is this that fish is stuck in these vines right here I went to pop him up don't move fish please don't move I don't know what I'm sticking my hands in here this is probably poison ivy and poison sumac and poison herald popped off right when I went to lift him up look at that Another solid little pound and a half. 
pound and three quarter fish. I don't know. They're all super chunky. Look at the guts on them. All definitely eating. All right, dude. Well, you're lucky day. I'm glad I saw you down there. I don't know if there's a little bit of grass there in the fall like this. If you can find any little isolated pieces of grass, any little pods of it, it's a great spot to find fish. All the other vegetation and everything is dying out, but those few spots that you can find that still have some good green vegetation work them over real well. Good chance there's multiple fish in there. There's another one. Thumped it right there. Stay pinned. Absolutely awesome. He threw off my Zacco. Lasted for quite a while. I don't know how many fish were on, but yes, another dude. That one's not as fat as the other ones. He's kind of skinny, but definitely over a pound fish. Probably pound and a quarter. Another one on the night. I am racking them up. 100% fun in my book. I don't care. They don't have to be five pounders to me. A lot of you out there are probably the same way. I'm just so scared to set my bag down because there is poison ivy all over in these parts. I've already kind of accepted the fact that I'm probably going to get it. I get that stuff really easy. All right, there we go. Good and rigged up. That's what we're looking like. See if we can find a couple more. Grabbed it right there off that bush. Hiding right under that bush. Yes. Another fish. He smoked that thing too. There we go. Another little dude. Pounder. That's another one. Hiding right under the edge of that bush. Make sure my line's still good here. Alright, what else? There we go, another one hit it twice. Hit it twice. There we go, another fish. Right on the edge of that, it was a little chunkier. A little bit better belly on them again. Pound and a quarter, getting closer to pound and a half. Yes, what a fun night. I mean, it's a beautiful night out, a little humid, a little warm, but Another fish on the night. I don't know how many we're up to. I haven't been counting, but doggone it, that's fun. Like I, I kind of feel a little silly, and I hate to say it, but it's that jackhammer. I don't know. Is it the jackhammer? Comment below. Let me know what you all think. Do you think a regular chatterbait would be doing the same deal out here? Muddy water like this, a night like tonight. Do you think I'd still be getting bit on a regular chatterbait, or is it, is it the magic of the jackhammer? There we go. Decent fish. Heck yeah. Ooh, might be the biggest one tonight. Don't come off fish. There we go. Whew, he is amped up. Man, that stuck him perfect. Look at that. That's a solid little fish, two and a half. Interesting, that one, I popped it and paused it just a minute and he came and grabbed it. Off he goes. I think we'll probably make a move. Yep, that one was. Little dude. That's still a fish, dang it. We'll take a bunch of those. Get up here. Whoa. It's a bass. Grass bass. I don't know where he is. Oh, right in the poison ivy. Perfect. The things I'll do. There we go. Little pounder right in the Daggum poison ivy. Well, I think I've already accepted the fact that I'm going to walk away tonight with poison ivy. Okay, let's try to be careful here. That's where I've seen what appears to be a fish over here. Maybe it wasn't. Hmm. Oh, or maybe it was. <laughs> little dude. Oh, not so little. A little bit bigger. A little bit bigger than what I thought he was. There we go, another little dude. Yeah, he's a pounder, but he came out pretty violently after it. He's definitely eating something down here. I saw him a few times. Dang it. Oh no, that's not good. Son of a biscuit. I got my chatterbait stuck. 
Should have worn my wading boots, dang it. I had those knee boots I was gonna wear tonight. Decided against it. Apparently I should have. Yeah, oh, that's cold. I don't know how deep this stuff is here. God, and of course these things are strong as heck. God dang it. Oh, y'all thought it was over? My mama didn't raise no quitter. Let's see if we can scoot out to this spot. It is right there. I can literally see it. Look at this. Oh, I could have left it, but I couldn't. It's like half a paycheck right there. Look at that, success! Now I gotta get back without falling in. Got it, got it! Just for the heck of it, we'll throw a cast over there, see if there's anything eaten. Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? Oh my gosh. All right, folks, just got home off the water. Fun and successful night in my book. No giants, but for a night after work like that, an hour and a half, fun catching, I'll take that anytime. Especially the way I've been getting my butt kicked lately, that was refreshing. I gotta test that baby out, the Z-Man Jackhammer Chatterbait, had the old Zach go on there as a trailer. It did work. Now, you all are gonna have to comment below and let me know. Do you think I would've caught all those same fish if I was using just a regular Z-Man Chatterbait? Definitely excited to test that more before that horrible ice and winter stuff comes. All right, before I go, I wanna give Al and Lango Vista, Texas a shout out. Thank you very much for watching and supporting my channel, young man means a lot to me. And that's something that I want to do at the end of every episode or somewhere in the episode is give a shout out to one of you that watches out there who consistently supports my channel. You know, comments down below. My channel's done way more than I ever thought it was going to when I first started. So it really does truly mean a lot to me. The folks out there, you know, you people who watch consistently and support and comment, it means a lot. But that's it for me. Thank you all very much again for watching. And until next time.